They are dinosaurs at the top of the food chain. This species first appeared over 240 million years ago during the Mesozoic era. They are Earth's largest reptile and they're still going strong today. Saltwater crocodiles, or salties as Australians affectionately refer to them, were first described zoologically in 1801 and their extremely powerful jaws are responsible for creating the strongest bite in the animal world. Though most crocodiles and their relatives are relatively harmless and would rather avoid people than confront them, the saltwater crocodile is known to show aggression towards people, due to how territorial they can be. As a result, they are responsible for at least several dozen attacks on people each year. The average saltwater crocodile male is around 5 meters in length and weighs around 500 kilograms, while females are significantly smaller, with the average female saltwater crocodile measuring a little under 3 meters in length and weighing less than 100 kilograms. The largest salty ever recorded was around 6.3 meters long, but individuals of up to 7 meters have probably lived in the past. It's possible that such large crocodiles no longer exist due to extensive hunting of the largest specimens. These huge males are estimated to have weighed a staggering 1,500 to 2,000 kilograms. These crocodiles have an enormous range, populating the brackish and freshwater regions of eastern India, southeast Asia and northern Australia. They are excellent swimmers and have often been spotted far out at sea. Terrifying. They are the epitome of opportunistic predators. They lurk patiently beneath the surface of the water's edge, waiting for potential prey to stop for a drink. They'll feed on anything they can get their jaws around, including water buffalo, monkeys, wild boar, and even sharks. Saltwater crocs are known for their death roll, a hunting behavior reserved for larger prey. The crocodile will rapidly roll its prey in the water in order to remove its limbs as its teeth are designed for gripping rather than tearing flesh. You may have seen these crocodiles holding their mouths open underwater, but how do they do this for such long periods of time? Well, salties have a valve at the bottom of their mouth that seals it off from their throat, enabling them to open their mouths underwater. However, for this same reason, they cannot actually swallow their prey whilst fully submerged. Though they spend much of their time in the water, saltwater crocodiles do come ashore to warm up in the sun and to nest. Females carefully look after their nests after laying a clutch of approximately 50 eggs. In addition to protecting their eggs from potential predators, females will carry new hatchlings in their mouths to nearby bodies of water so that they will not be harmed during the dangerous first journey. Interestingly, the temperature of the nest determines the sex of the hatchlings. Cooler nests produce mostly female, while warmer nests produce mostly male saltwater crocodiles. Though they have few natural predators, saltwater crocodiles have been hunted for many decades by us, humans. Their skin is particularly valuable for use as material for bags, shoes and other goods. These activities have threatened the saltwater crocodile's numbers in the past, and this species has historically been considered vulnerable to extinction. Recent conservation efforts have allowed populations to rebound in some places, but the historic range has certainly contracted. Currently, the saltwater crocodile has complete legal protection in Australia and some other places. Today, salties are considered at low risk for extinction, but illegal hunting, habitat loss and antipathy towards the species because of its reputation as a man-eater continue to put pressure on the population. For these reasons, it is important to further monitor saltwater crocodile population trends to ensure that the recent positive trend continues to support the recovery of this top coastal and marine predator. At Paynton Zoo, we are home to Zilla, a female saltwater crocodile. She can be seen in our croc swamp exhibit at the top of the zoo. 
to find out how you can help us in our conservation efforts, we have some useful links included in the description below. If you want more animal content and videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you keep up to date with any new releases. Thanks for watching.